today we're going I'm going to show you how to make these bracelets as you can see we have them in a few different colors today I thought we would make it in the pink let me get these out of the way remember if you like our tutorials please subscribe to our channel and if you are interested in making these and would like to just buy the kit we do have kits available at our Etsy store and the link will be available in the description. Just click on that and it'll take you to our, our Etsy store. And so to start with, what we're using today is we are using 3mm pearls, 4mm bicone crystals, we're using pink today, and size 11 seed bead. And this is just going to be a one needle design and we use the wildfire beading thread and I start out with for most bracelets I'll start out with about three feet of the the string and so we will go ahead and get started and the first part we do is the section right down the middle so I will just take my needle and I will start threading on alternating between I start with a bicone and then I will just keep alternating now I want to take them down to the end of my thread and I want to leave a, a, probably about six to eight inches so what I'm going to do here so they don't slide off is I'm just going to loop this right around the bead and that will keep it on. And then I am just going to thread all of the pearls and bicones on as long as I want. Different people have different size wrists, so you could try it on as you go and stop when it's the length you want. Okay, just about done putting the pearls and bicones on. Now I started with a bicone and ended with a bicone. And that's the amount I need for the desired length. So I'll brush the extras away. And now what I need is a bunch of the seed beads. Now what, what we will be doing is we will be adding these as we go along all the way down and what it is is I will need to pick up eight seed beads uh, if you hear some strange noises in here today we have a pug dog who seems to be very curious as to what I'm doing in here so she is rummaging around Last time it was my cat who was pawing around, figuring out what was interesting in here. But today we have the dog. Okay, so I have eight seed beads. And now I will take that up. So that came on after the bicone. And I will put it back down in the next bicone, going in that direction and making kind of a loop because this is the end loop where the uh, jump ring and the clasp will be attached. I like to go through and reinforce. So I will just go around again. My dog sounds more like a pig than a dog. But... I don't know what she's getting into. Okay. So now I have reinforced that end. And now I will pick up another eight seed beads.
and now that is going to be on this side and so I will go down through the next bicone then another eight seed beads This will be threaded through the next bicone. So you can see how that's working out. And I will continue doing that and you just keep working the same way all the way to the end. Okay, I've just got one more loop to go. So going to be eight seed beads okay now before I do that. I'm going to just undo this little loop of thread that kept everything in place. There we go. And I will take my last loop and put it right in there. And I'm going to go through all three of those beads in a row because this is the end and I want to reinforce it so the Jump ring will be nice and secure. Okay. All right, so now I have my two ends and I'm just going to tie them together. Which side is which? Okay. Got my knot good and tight. And now I'm just going to take the thread, put it back around. doesn't want to go through. Hmm. Alright, I'll just try that again. There we go. It doesn't really matter which way I go here, what beads I go through, just get through enough so that the ends will stay nicely where they are. I'm going to thread the other end and also go through a few beads for this end before I cut the string off. This one I'm just sending through the bigger beads down the middle. Okay, that gives me enough. Take the needle off. And now I'm ready to cut my strings. And it's time for our jump rings and our clasp. Okay. I've already opened the jump rings so I will just put it right through just the end loop that I have 
and then let me show you our clasp. This is a nice easy one to put on with one hand, which is important for a bracelet. You just, I'm not sure what these are called, but I, I like them. It's a nice little ball and socket clasp. So I will just put one end of that on here with the jump ring. Then it's time to close it up. Make sure it's nice and tight. I can't get my fingernail in there. Then I'll take this. Nice and tight. And there we have it. Our pink bracelet. Again, thank you for watching, and if you would please subscribe to our channel, that would help us out a lot. And we will be making more videos to come, so thanks again.